hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm in fakad poultry and agro allied service if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for why are you just watching without subscribing please click the subscribe button click the bell notification button and let's keep rolling guys this is amazing poultry farming is really interesting but you need the capital and the resources to manage this that's, that's wonderful good morning sir good morning. i am auto lifestyle a great content on the youtuber and i'm really happy to visit your farm i've gone around the md has shown me so kindly tell us your name your farm name and everything about your farm my name is Jinal Jumis Farm, Adiola, MP of Fakad Farm. We are in Shukutri, and uh, I myself I exist in other agro-allies businesses. For someone who's watching this video for the first time now, and they're like, okay, I'm interested in poultry farm, what are the things you suggest that the person should tell you, or what you would tell the person to go and get before you can set up a farm for the person. First of all, if you, before you want venture into poultry business, because poultry is not like other uh, farm business. So before you venture into any livestock, generally, I wish we segment uh, poultry as one trend. Because we must first of all have interest in that business. And we have I mean, passion for the business. Because if you don't, uh, you may not, you may likely leave the business at the end of the day because of the challenges. Uh, it's capital intensive business anyway, that one has to be ready to finance, most especially the area of feeding. Yeah, so you must feed your bed very well. So you don't need to short feed them, you short feed them with your value because anything you put to them, we we'll throw it back to you. Oh, oh, yeah. So it's garbage in, garbage out. Wow. It's nice. So you, you need to, to, that's why I say you need to have passion for it for, and ready to spend before you realize anything. Let me ask this question Can you help someone to set up a poultry farm? Yeah, yeah, we can. So we, what we do is that we, uh, I don't really manage business, uh, poultry business. For, Farmers. Okay. What I do is that I consult for them. Okay. So I do consult for them, then I tell them what to do, what to do, and how to place your pen. Because they are, they are knowledge about that. So, to, so we conduct seminars here, we conduct seminars for people. And then sometimes a, a student will come for self for training. For training. So we do that. And uh, with that, because before you go into business, don't, you can't just be a man. You must have little knowledge about you, what you are. If, if somebody is managing it for you, you must have you know, the knowledge, knowledge so that they will not be telling you lies about, you, about what happens. And you people will not be, two of you will not be fighting yes. at the end of the day. But if you tell you this, and you think it's not so, you will be fighting. Yeah, sure. First of all, let the person have knowledge. That's how you mentioned passion. So, for the consultation fee, if they contact you, you definitely give them a reasonable price. Or do you have a specific price you want to share with them? At all. No. So, okay, no price. Uh, it depends on mm -hmm. what the person what wants. Person yeah, that's true. Yeah, and the species and the breed are different. So, the area that the person wants me to come in, that's as I said, the, the person has to be. First of all, have little knowledge. We train the person. Okay. We train the person, and uh, this is what happens. This is how these are, these are the challenges that we will likely face, and this is how to mitigate it. Right. I think you understand. Yes. So, uh, so we we tell the person all these things, and if we all agree on that. They said that you consult for them. Then we go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, sir. So, uh, for anybody who wants to go into this farm business. Are you assuring the person that there is always a market for eggs, for birds, like people consumption for birds and for eggs as well? Are there always market or would there be a specific time in which there won't be market? You know, this is Nigeria, anything can happen. 
a lot of people are into this business. But are you assuring me that there is always a market? No matter here Nigeria for today. No, I don't think there is any volume of egg that you produce or bed that Nigeria because Nigeria is still importing. Wow. So, so we are importing birds. We are still importing birds and eggs. Eggs. Wow. So <laughs> the last time I read it in the newspaper, Nigeria is still importing about 15 million crates of egg every day. So if Nigeria is still importing <laughs> and we are producing, so that means we are still underproducing. Yes. So guys, there is still market. If you want to go into poultry farm, <laughs> kindly get in touch with them. No matter how I'm um, presently. Our customer are on our neck. Really? We are still we are still buying from other farms to, to, to sell. sell them. So there's market of it. And if you want to sell bears, you know everything depends on the way you, you raise your bears and uh, the, the markets you are looking for. Yes. There are also markets for your size. Depend on like if you want to sell all layers, there are places that you can sell it. There are people that needed the old layers. And at a good price. At a good price. If you want, if you are selling broiler, you can't go to those, those people that are selling old layers. To sell the broiler. So you, you must go and look for your markets. Market. Where is my market? Like if you are supplying um, the, like Ipri or, or uh, the shops, I think you understand. Yes. You can't go with old layer. That's true, that's true. If you, so all layer we, we, we can sell those markets with those market women they like all layers. Oh, and uh, if you have twenty thousand they come if only one person can come and wow. pack it. Twenty thousand <laughs> because they are they, they within themselves they have distributors okay. that will come and buy in here in Bob mm -hmm. and distribute to the other to, to the market women. So there's no challenges in marketing. The challenge the only challenges you can have is by raising your base and the egg. But if you you undergo some trainings, then we tell you how to mitigate that. That's that's good. So I think that's all for now. And I'm going to put your YouTube channel in my description box, your IG channel as well. I think there is a Facebook. Okay. So I'm gonna put the three in the description box. So. You don't need to disturb me about the contact or about the num phone number or anything. Just contact them directly. Please contact them directly. They're going to attend to you. They have a wonderful person managing the uh, social media. He's always active. Trust me, he's always active 24-7. When you go to their IG, then you will know what I'm talking about. Thank you very much, sir, for having me here and showing me your farm and explaining to everyone out there. Welcome. Thank you so much. So, uh, thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. I'm going to see you in another video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.